Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at the Euros. Uh, this car is going to set you back roughly $1,350,000 and there is no trade price to take advantage of. Okay, so moving on to the customization, just like usual, we will sit here and watch a time lapse while I talk about literally everything and anything I can car related. Um, so this one, again, just like everything else, has very nice customizations to go through. The only thing I did not like is just like the real 370Z uh, in video games, the front bumper options. If you've ever played Forza Horizon 3, 4, Motorsport 6, 7, blah, 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 anything that has the 370 in it, they basically did the same thing here with the Euros, uh, where it's like the Nismo body kit style stuff. Um, and it just, in my opinion, it just doesn't look good. Other than that, the rear bumper, the exhaust, the side skirts, even the wide body panel, even the, the, the front splitters, the wing, everything there looks just fine. It's literally just the front bumper um, that it's very Forza styled when it comes to uh, the front bumpers that are available. Um, other than that, there's not much to talk about. Um, except for the fact that the calipers uh, get painted with the secondary color. So just uh, keep in mind with that, that if you don't see the secondary color change anything, it is changing at least that. Moving on to the performance side of things. Um, it's not as great as what you would think it would be. Um, it has good braking, and that's about it. I mean, it can take a turn decently. Definitely, it is not the best handling with turns. Um, and acceleration, it is also by far not the best. Um... Another thing you have to watch for is this is another one of those vehicles that when the rear end kicks out, it really wants to kick out. And if you end up kicking it out to where you try to double clutch, it's another one of the ones where the motor just stalls. Like, for some reason, it just tends to be the motor wants to stall. Um, I don't know why, that's just what it decides it wants to do. However, if you can control it, it's definitely not the worst vehicle out there. Uh, it, again, it might be as bad as one of the other ones on our list when it comes to the engine wanting to shut down. But, it also, the downsides are not super awful. They are downsides because, uh, considering uh, the top two best vehicles. However, it is not a uh, extreme downside to the point that you can't perform. As you can see in here, I took first. I didn't finish in first, but I did take first. And it's just because this vehicle does have the chance to keep up and outperform the other ones permitting there's no mistakes and you're very precise with your line but if it came down to somebody driving this that's an extremely good driver and somebody driving a Jester RR that's an extremely good driver like both people on the same driver playing field the Jester RR will beat this on any track by like three, four seconds a lap. Um, so, it's not the greatest, and it is not a vehicle that is the easiest to learn how to control. Um, however, it's really good looking, doesn't take too long, and uh, it's pretty much all I have. I hope that you guys found this video helpful in one form or another, uh, and I will hopefully see you guys in another one. I'm out. Peace.